All right, what's up guys? So um, this is the next chapter. It's uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be uh, boring some holes um, for the rivets and uh, those are what's gonna hold in your clasp, um, which essentially holds the helmet together other than the hinge. So what you're gonna need, I'm gonna put this down for a sec. What you're gonna need is a set of, hin uh, set of clasps. This is what a full set of clasps looks like. Um, you're going to need a uh, drill with a drill bit on it. You're going to need a riveter and some rivets. These are 1 8 rivets, so we're going to be using, or I'm sorry, these are 3 316 rivets, so you're going to be using a 316 drill bit. The holes that come in these things are obviously way too small for your 316 drill bit, so, or for your 316, um, Rivet, so you're gonna use um, a drill bit and you're gonna just kind of drill straight through until you uh, until you have the hole to the right size it needs to be to fit. So you might have to do some fun modest, fun little work there to make it happen, but eventually it will happen. So when you do get it, it should fit right in real nice and snug and tight. Um, you can do that on both sides of it. Real simple. Um, now most of these clasps are going to come flat, like straight flat um, when it comes to the piece that you're going to clip on. So you're going to want to uh, bend them a little bit and kind of get them to, uh, to fit the right spot. So um, it's kind of got like a groove to it now because I've bent it to fit. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the back side on first, which is this. This is going to go on the back side of the helmet. Um, and then we'll line it up to, um, to do the smaller side which is the front of the helmet you don't want to put the back side of the hinge on the front side of the helmet or it's gonna look really weird you have to like claw yourself to get it off instead of popping it off like you would uh, regular style so I'm gonna pause for a second and then I will come back with it um, set up um, for us to do one all right so now you got your helmet you've got your class I did the first one there already um, and then you're gonna to want to do the second one uh, you may need to use a, a grinder to kind of grind these down a little bit um, afterwards if they're a little too long. But um, all in all, as long as you don't give it too much hell, you shouldn't crack the uh, the outside. Um, if you do, God forbid, um, then you're going to want to uh, grab some epoxy. And then it'll pop off and you see this little Audi looking gimmick here that can come off later but real simple it's gonna actually fits really well on the inside there it's the first time I've used these style of clasps we're gonna do this on both sides clearly and then um, we're gonna line up the helmet to uh, to fit um, the uh, to fit with the clasps and line up with those so um, that'll be next all right, so the next part of the process is simple. It's gonna be, um, you're gonna be drilling the other side of the helmet, um, the front side of the helmet for the smaller part of the, of the clasps. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do is tape the helmet. You're gonna to wanna to make it as straight and flush and correct as possible. Make sure that it's like dead on and even and smooth and all that jazz. Because if not, when you put the hinge in later, you're not gonna be very excited for having a uh, lumpy looking uh, helmet. So you're gonna do just like we did last time, and put this down again for use. You're gonna take the helmet clasp part that's already put on, and you're gonna take the, the smaller part, and you're gonna line them up as best you can, and try to make some circles on where you need a drill. Take it off, bam, little circles here. Real simple. Take your drill just like we did on the other side and you're going to want to put tape underneath 
Um, you probably can't see it. Well, maybe you can. You see that little blue piece of tape? The reason I say this is it's going to help a little bit with preventing it from cracking. Um, if it does crack, don't freak out. Um, it sucks, but you can just do a quick little Bondo job like you see right here, and that's going to fix um, fix the problem. Um, or you can use an epoxy or something like that. And the good thing is we haven't painted yet, so you don't have to worry about it showing up. As long as you can get your sander in there and do a little bit of touch-up work, you should be okay. All right, so drill those bad boys out. I'm also going to recommend that you drill it a little big. Don't get it too snug, or you're going to, uh, that could help. That might cause cracking as well. So, <sighs> nice holes here. And on the front side, I use the flat side or the washer side, and that's the reason I told you earlier to use um, tape underneath. You're going to need two of these bad boys, the, uh, the rivets, and you're going to need a riveter. So we're going to go like this. It's going to stick out like that. You're going to take your riveter here. That's a piece of the last rivet. And make sure it's lined up perfectly because the second these things get snug, they are snug for good. Bam. That's one. 